Okay, we're going to talk about WordPress settings here. Uh, these are generally things that you probably won't have to worry about unless you're installing this yourself. But there's a few things you want to do, okay? Uh, on the general settings, you want to put the uh, a tagline in there for it. So the skin fixer, um, the, the client will have a tagline to go with the skin fixer, okay? Um, you'll find that that's the WordPress URL. Um, sometimes, depending on how the site's been installed, you can change that, but uh, very rarely you want to do that because that can that will break your website immediately and you'll have to update your permalinks. Um, email address, uh, new default user role or subscriber. Then you put your, your time in, depending on your location, always uh, good to put the, the, the time in, uh, the time zone, and the date format, how you want that displayed on the website. You can also put in blacklist URLs. So if you're getting a lot of, um, uh, you know, um, uh, spam and stuff like that, you can blacklist URLs um, and and things like that. But I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that. That I've never had to worry about anything like that. And then you've got um, the the writing um, section. Okay. Now with 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 writing. Um, there's a few little other other things. You can automatically have a default post category when, when you create a new post. Um, what sort of d default post format you want to start with. That'll, all the, this will depend on the theme and how that's done. Um, and you can also have, um, uh, you can post via email if you want as well. And you can set up this. Some of my clients do that where they actually send it through an email body. Uh, it's not the most preferred way to do it, but you can you can uh, learn all about this um, from um, uh, from the help section again at the top there. Um, and then there's the reading. Uh, that's how your site is set up. Do you want a front page to be a static page, or do you want it to display the latest post? Most themes that you purchase will require you to create a page for the front page, and they'll give you instructions on how to do that. How many posts are displayed on, on the archives and, and stuff like that, and whether you want to have full text or summary. At the moment, this is discouraged from search engine. You want to check that if you're going to do this when the site goes live that you untick that. Uh, a discussion we, we covered earlier with, uh, with comments, that's how the comments are managed and, 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 and uh, are moderated. Okay, um, your media. This will be default for everyone, but sometimes your themes will ask you to change these settings. Uh, if they don't ask you to change it, do not touch it. Okay, and it's always best to organise it in month and, uh, on the server. This will do it automatically, but you always should have that ticked. Uh, permalinks are how how everything's displayed on the site. And I covered this earlier in another video, but I would suggest that you have either date and time or month and name uh, as the permalinks. Once you do that, it'll update the HT access file on the server, uh, and so. Uh, your website should work uh, with that. But always check with the theme. If you purchase the theme, it might tell you the way the way it's been set up that you need to tick one of these, and that's where you do that. And then this is a WP Supercase plugin, but we'll, we'll cover that in a later thing. So that's basically all the settings that you, you're required with WordPress. Again, as you install plugins, you'll see more features added to here for the settings for the plugins and things like that, uh, maybe under tools as well. Okay? Um, but that's a, a basic overview of the, uh, of the, of the settings uh, for your WordPress installation.